by getting rid of the income tax, I just envision this country with a bunch of workers with one-third more money in their pocket every two weeks. I think the economy would go crazy. 80% is care for the elderly and, and the military. And you, 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 can, you can't cut them back that much. <laughs> as a matter of fact, you're probably going to see some expansion as people retire. So uh, I'll, take a look at the pl- I'll take a look at the plan. But, well, you know, it's based I, on I, M1. I must admit, my experience is there, there's, if something sounds too good to be true, it most likely is. Remember what Ron Paul said when you guys were laughing at him. If you got rid of the income tax, you will have the same amount of public revenue coming in that we had 10 years ago. And if you replace it with that 1%. <laughs> now, what, no. Mark, Mark, now think, think for a second. Do you think that our, our, our obligations to our seniors, given the growing population and the size of our military, is larger than it was 10 years ago? Absolutely. However, if you quit taxing Social Security, the idea that you have to pay income tax on a Social Security check is not only redundant, it is, it's insane. The, isn't it? Well, there's very little income that comes from that. It doesn't, it doesn't generate but, any but income it, at but all. But it's, it's egregious that you have someone out there actually paying income tax on money they've already contributed as taxes. Hey, Mark, we're having fun, but i got to run. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I've got the, one the, more show i got to do here. I know. The, heat, the I, heat's on. You, when, it's an, it's an interesting idea, but i got to tell you, I think everybody in America would say, gosh, a 1% tax, I'm, I'm all in favor of that. But, but Make don't it forget, too. Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget, we have to have a military that can protect us, and we have to care for our seniors. And we, uh, we, we, I want to cut back on spending, but I'm, but I'm not planning on cutting back to a one percent tax. All right, you, you call Cato and check it out. <laughs> okay, Don't Mark. laugh, Mitt. You're laughing at Ron Paul too, and you know he's I right. I sure am laughing at Ron Paul. I got to tell you, anybody who says we got to get rid of the CIA and the FBI, and that the reason that we're attacked by jihadists is because of of us, is a guy who deserves a, a little bit of humor to, to come his way. Keep keep laughing. Thanks, right. so, Mitt. Talk to you later. Thanks. All right, right there. He just lost my vote, Dan. He just lost my vote. He, uh, he quoted uh, Ron Paul out of school. He's chuckling about it. It's not funny. It is absolutely not funny. I got 4,000 dead soldiers, American soldiers, because of Iraq, which was ill-conceived. The premise was wrong. They lied. I got 4,000 dead soldiers. I got over 20,000 injured coming back. I got a trillion dollars blown on that debacle, and he's laughing about it. You just lost my vote, Governor. You just lost it. And you notice when I put the pressure on, he had to run. Folks, they're going to have an income tax until you croak. You can buy all the Bortz books you want. It's going to be there because of a-holes like Mitt Romney. Done. I love rich people because rich people turn the wheels and they're the ones that provide the jobs. But there's a guy, an elitist screwball right there, who has his millions, who could care less if the tax rate went to 40%. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. And he's laughing at Ron Paul again this morning. And, you know, this, this nervous chuckling and, uh, and mocking of a guy who speaks the truth, the man who told you the truth more than any other in those debates who wasn't afraid to make enemies and tell the truth was Ron Paul. And they laughed at him. Well, he deserves to be laughed at. No, Mitt Romney, you deserve to be laughed at. Mitt Romney, you lost my vote today. I was real close to giving it to you out of frustration. Very close. And you know what? After hearing him chuckle like that, I'm going straight to that voting booth this morning, and I'm going to vote for Ron Paul.